One day I bumped my head on a cupboard and the pain was excruciating even though it was a slight bump on a cupboard. I went to um, my acupuncturist who then proceeded to adjust my neck and it felt like he literally broke my neck. It made the worst sound I've ever heard in my life which prompted me to the emergency room. Through a scan they could see on my neck it looked like moths. I remember them describing it looked like moths had eaten, eaten my bone. The doctor said this is a disease that is treatable but not curable. And I was afraid. When I went home and told my 14 year old daughter, she said, I'm scared. And I said, I am too. So um, there was much to be learned about that disease at that point that I didn't know. The opened options came uh, amazingly the, the right time for me in this whole process. Open to Options is a free national program that was developed by the cancer support community to help patients create a personalized, customized uh, care plan so that they can really focus on what are the key issues that matter to them the most. It's designed as a one-on-one -on -one interview process, basically, where an individual who's facing a treatment decision is going to be having an upcoming appointment with their physician, and they're trying to come up with that list of questions um, in the time frame that they can meet with their doctor to really help them understand what questions they want to ask. I had a relapse. I had been in remission for about 18 months. Well, I've actually known Trish for a couple of years now. She was in our support group, and that day we um, had talked about the Open Options program, and uh, that's when she said, I think we need to do this. She helped me dig deeper, I think, into the questions I had briefly written down, and she also helped me prioritize, okay, what are the things you really need to come home knowing the answers to when you're done with this appointment. Just to see the calmness throughout the process come over her was just the experience of why this is so important. We're also getting great feedback from physicians uh, about the program, the uh, patients who go through this program. The doctors are really telling us that these patients are much uh, calmer, they're much more organized, and seem to come into the appointment with a mindset where they are ready to make a decision and really improve that physician-patient communication and have a great partnership with the healthcare team. When he saw that I had a sheet, a typed out sheet listed of questions, um, I remember him saying, good, good. I think I felt that he felt a sense of relief that I was prepared to to get these questions answered and have them written down. The cancer support community is incredibly grateful to the Amgen Foundation for their support of the Open to Options program. Open to Options did start uh, with a grant from the Centers for Disease Control, but that was limited to uh, blood cancer patients. We learned a great deal through that first phase of the program, and now we really uh, are so pleased by the Amgen Foundation's vision uh, to step up and help the cancer support community expand open to options to people with all cancers so that they can be educated, can be empowered, can have a great partnership with the healthcare team and feel confident about their decisions.